In this video, I'm going to show you how face based families host on reference planes and some things to keep in mind. So, first, I'm going to go to an elevation. You could also do this in a section and draw two reference planes. So, one I'm going to draw from left to right and name it as such. And then I'll draw another one from right to left. And then I'm actually going to draw a third one and not name it. And now if I go to the level one ceiling plan and place a lighting fixture, I have the option of placing it on a vertical face, place on face, in place on work plane. So place on vertical face is, as the name implies. Place on face would allow you to place it on any surface. And then place on work plane gives you access to this drop down list. And notice that the two reference planes that I named are showing up here in the list. The third reference plane that I created that I did not name does not show up here. So let's place one lighting fixture on each surface. So those reference planes are infinite in, in direction. Go back to our elevation. I'm going to turn on the light source to make this show up better. And you can see that one fixture is pointing up and the other one is pointing down. So if you select this, you can see over here in the properties that its host is le uh, right to left. So it doesn't really matter where these ended up landing, but I could quickly position these just for reference. So this one that I have selected, its host is left to right. If I select this, that one's left to right. And this one is right to left. And then I select it and it's right to left. So that highlights a problem that if you don't draw the reference planes in a certain order with that in mind, you might get unusual results like this. Occasionally, lighting fixtures are hosted by reference planes and there may be several reference planes that are named something like L1 8 foot 2. So if I select this and make this 8 foot 2, all light fixtures that need to be at 8 foot 2 can be hosted on this level 1 reference plane. Now in a ceiling plan, if you needed to move a light fixture from an 8 foot reference plane to an 8 foot 2 reference plane, you can select it and then instead of picking new host, where then you have to essentially replace the light fixture and, and it could move, there's an option here to edit work plane. So you click this button and then you can just move it from this work plane to that L1 8 foot 2 work plane. And so it didn't move at all in plan, but if we go back to the elevation, now it's related to this L1 8 foot 2, which again you can see in the properties the host says L1 8 foot 2. And then if a reference plane is deleted, now you select this fixture and you can see the host it says not associated. So unlike a door getting deleted because it's wall hosted, face based families that are hosted on reference planes do not get deleted. And then we can just switch its host rather than picking new. I can go to edit edit work plane, and then pick one of these remaining hosts. And then finally, to fix this problem of the fixture pointing the wrong direction, if you select this fixture that's pointing the wrong direction, it's actually a little bit hard to see sometimes, but there's actually a little grip here that says flip work plane. And so that did flip it. It would be better to fix the reference plane, of course, because you don't want to keep flipping these throughout an entire project. Although there's much more to say on the topic related to face-based families and even reference planes, um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.